Step back in time to the Cretaceous period, a chapter in Earth's history that lasted from about 145 to 66 million years ago. This era was a time of profound change and dramatic evolution, where the world was dominated by some of the most awe-inspiring creatures to have ever walked, swam, or soared across the planet. Imagine vast landscapes teeming with life, where towering dinosaurs like the iconic Tyrannosaurus rex and the massive Argentinosaurus roamed. The climate during the Cretaceous was warmer than today, creating a greenhouse world with high sea levels that flooded continents and created shallow inland seas. This warm, wet world was an ideal environment for the dinosaurs to thrive. From the mighty Spinosaurus, with its sail-like spine, to the tiny Microraptor, a four-winged dinosaur that glided between trees, the Cretaceous period was a time of evolutionary experimentation. The oceans were home to the colossal Mosasaurus, a marine lizard with a fearsome bite, and the skies were ruled by the pterosaurs, the first vertebrates to achieve powered flight. These are just a few examples of the incredible creatures that made the Cretaceous period one of the most fascinating chapters in Earth's history. So let's dive into the past and explore 12 of the most bizarre animals that our planet has ever seen. First is the Cosmoceratops, a ceratopsian dinosaur with an ornate skull featuring 15 horns, one of the most elaborate of any known dinosaur. With a name that translates to ornate horned face, this dinosaur stands out in the fossil record as one of the most elaborately adorned creatures to have ever lived. The Cosmoceratops boasted an astonishing 15 horns and horn-like structures on its massive skull, a feature that has puzzled and fascinated paleontologists since its discovery. But what purpose did such extravagant ornamentation serve? The theories are as wild as the dinosaur itself, some scientists speculate that these horns were used in combat, clashing with rivals in a show of strength and dominance. Others suggest they played a role in attracting mates, much like the peacock's feathers. The sheer size and weight of the Cosmoceratops, combined with its ornate features, make it a standout in the dinosaur kingdom. Weighing in at around 1.2 tons and measuring up to 15 feet in length, this herbivore was a sight to behold. Next at number two is Therizinosaurus, the Freddy Krueger of dinosaurs. This herbivorous theropod had enormous scythe-like claws on its hands, used possibly for browsing vegetation. Therizinosaurus, which means scythe lizard, gets its name from its most distinctive feature, its gigantic scythe-like claws. Discovered in the 1940s in Mongolia's Gobi Desert, these claws were initially thought to belong to a massive turtle. It wasn't until later that paleontologists realized they were dealing with a dinosaur unlike any other. Each of Therizinosaurus's three fingers sported a claw that could reach up to three feet in length, longer than the average human arm. Despite its terrifying claws, Therizinosaurus was an herbivore. Its claws were probably used for pulling down branches, stripping leaves, and possibly even for defense. Therizinosaurus had a pot belly and a long neck, giving it a somewhat awkward appearance. Standing about 16 to 20 feet tall and stretching up to 33 feet long, it was a sizable dinosaur. Its bipedal stance and hefty build suggest it was a slow-moving browser, meandering through ancient forests in search of plants to munch on. The evolution of Therizinosaurus's claws remains one of the great puzzles of paleontology. These claws are unique not just among dinosaurs, but among all known animals. At number three is Archaeopteryx, an early bird with both avian and dinosaur characteristics, including feathers, teeth, and a long bony tail. This magnificent creature, which lived approximately 150 million years ago during the late Jurassic period, has captivated scientists with its unique blend of reptilian and avian features. Imagine a creature the size of a modern raven, adorned with feathers, yet bearing the jaws and teeth of a dinosaur. 
It's no wonder that Archaeopteryx has been a subject of fascination since the first fossil was discovered in the Solnhofen limestone formation in Bavaria, Germany. The intricate details preserved in these fossils, from the impressions of feathers to the structure of its wings, suggest that Archaeopteryx could indeed take to the skies, albeit in short bursts, to escape predators or navigate its arboreal habitat. Next to number four is the Spinosaurus, a giant carnivorous dinosaur with a sail-like structure on its back and adaptations for a semi-aquatic lifestyle. Spinosaurus, the giant of the Cretaceous, was truly a marvel of prehistoric life. This massive predator, known for its distinctive sail-like structure on its back, roamed the swamps and rivers of what is now North Africa around 100 to 94 million years ago. Its long, narrow skull, similar to that of a crocodile and conical teeth, were perfect adaptations for catching fish, suggesting that Spinosaurus may have been one of the few semi-aquatic dinosaurs spending much of its time in the water. The function of its tall neural spines, which could have formed a sail or perhaps a hump, remains a topic of debate among scientists. Some suggest it was used for display to attract mates or intimidate rivals, while others propose it might have helped regulate body temperature or store fat. Despite the destruction of the original fossils during World War II, Recent discoveries have shed new light on this enigmatic creature, painting a picture of a dinosaur that was as fearsome in the water as it was on land. At number five is the Ankylosaurus, a heavily armored dinosaur with a club-like tail, used for defense against predators. This incredible creature, resembling a living tank, was one of the last non-avian dinosaurs to roam the Earth before the mass extinction event. The Ankylosaurus, whose name means fused lizard, was a sight to behold. It was a massive creature, estimated to be between 6 and 8 meters long and weighing between 4.8 and 8 metric tons. Its body was a fortress, covered in thick bony plates and spikes for protection against predators. The most distinctive feature of the Ankylosaurus was its tail club, a formidable weapon that could deliver a devastating blow to any threat. The Ankylosaurus also had a unique skull structure, with horns pointing backward and sideways facing nostrils. These features, along with its fused bones, added to its armored defense, making it one of the toughest dinosaurs of its time. Despite its formidable appearance, the Ankylosaurus was thought to be a slow mover, capable of quick bursts when necessary. Its heavy armor and clubbed tail were its main strategies for survival, in a world filled with predators like the Tyrannosaurus rex. Next on the list at number six is the Pteranodon, a large pterosaur with a wingspan up to 33 feet, known for its crest on the head. The Pteranodon, whose name originates from the Greek words pteron, which means wing and anodontos, which mean toothless, was a remarkable genus of pterosaur. Unlike the dinosaurs with which they often share the spotlight, Pterosaurs like Pteranodon were not dinosaurs at all, but a separate group of flying reptiles. With a wingspan stretching over 6 meters or 20 feet, the Pteranodon was not just any flying reptile. It was one of the largest known to have ever taken to the skies. Its fossils, predominantly found in the midsection of the United States from Kansas to Alabama, tell a story of a creature perfectly adapted to its environment. The Pteranodon's toothless beak much like that of a modern-day pelican, hints at a diet primarily consisting of fish. One of the most distinctive features of the pteranodon is its cranial crest. While its exact purpose remains a topic of scientific debate, suggestions include mate attraction, species recognition, or even aerodynamic functions. What's clear is that the crest, larger in males, added to the pteranodon's impressive silhouette against the Cretaceous sky. At number seven is the Amargosaurus, a sauropod with two rows of long spines along its neck. This unique and fascinating creature roamed the ancient landscapes of what is now Argentina. Amargosaurus wasn't your typical sauropod. While it followed the general sauropod blueprint with a long tail and neck, a small head, and a barrel-shaped trunk supported by four sturdy legs, it stood out from the crowd thanks to its distinctive feature, a double row of tall spines running down its neck and back. These spines were unlike anything seen in other sauropods, 
and have sparked the interests of scientists for years. Measuring between 30 to 43 feet in length and weighing approximately 2.6 to 4 metric tons, Amargosaurus was on the smaller side for a sauropod. But what about those spines? There's been much debate over their function. Some theories suggest they could have supported a skin sail, possibly used for display, thermoregulation, or even defense. Others propose that the spines were covered in a keratinous sheath, similar to the horns of modern-day animals. At number eight is Nigersaurus, a sauropod with a wide vacuum cleaner-like mouth and hundreds of tiny teeth. Nigersaurus, whose name means Niger reptile, was a fascinating creature that roamed the floodplains of what is now the Sahara Desert in Niger. This sauropod, a member of the Rebichisauridae family, was not your typical long-necked giant. It was relatively small for a sauropod, about 30 feet long, which is about the size of a school bus. But what really set Nigersaurus apart was its incredibly unique mouth brimming with more than 500 teeth. These teeth weren't just numerous. They were arranged in a way that has baffled paleontologists. The mouth of Nigersaurus was wide and squared off, almost like the vacuum head of a hoover. This peculiar feature suggests that Nigersaurus was a specialized feeder, grazing close to the ground, possibly sweeping through ferns and other low-lying plants with its toothy muzzle. At number nine is Stegomoloch, a dome-headed pachycephalosaurid with large spikes protruding from the back of its skull. This is one of the most peculiar dinosaurs that ever roamed the earth. First off, the Stegomoloch's head is something to behold. It had a dome-shaped skull adorned with an array of spikes and horns that would make any punk rocker green with envy. This bizarre headgear wasn't just for show. Scientists believe these features were used in headbutting contests to win over mates or establish dominance. But here's where it gets even more interesting. Recent studies suggest that the Stigamoloch might not have been its own species at all. Instead, it could have been a juvenile Pachycephalosaurus, growing up to change its skull shape dramatically as it aged. Imagine that, a dinosaur that goes through a complete makeover as it grows up. It walked on two legs and was about the size of a large dog, but with a much heavier head. So, what makes the Stigamoloch so bizarre? It's a combination of its unique skull, the mystery surrounding its true identity, and the fact that it's a gentle herbivore. At number 10 is the Dinochirus, the giant dinosaur with a horrible hand. Known for its massive, mysterious arms, this theropod dinosaur had a duck-like bill and a humped back, unlike any other theropod. This dinosaur, whose name means horrible hand in Greek, was one of the most peculiar creatures to roam the Earth. For many years, all that scientists knew of this dinosaur were its enormous arms, measuring a staggering 2.4 meters in length, complete with large, blunt claws. Discovered in 1965 in the Nemegt Formation of Mongolia, these limbs sparked a mystery that would take almost 50 years to solve. It wasn't until 2014 that paleontologists uncovered more complete specimens, revealing the true nature of Dinochirus. Standing at 11 meters long and weighing around 6.5 tons, Dinochirus was a slow-moving, bulky creature with a wide, toothless bill resembling that of a duck and a humpbacked silhouette. One of the most striking features of Dinochirus is the tall neural spines that formed a sail-like structure along its back. This feature, along with its pygostyle-like vertebrae at the tail end, hints at the possibility of a fan of feathers adorning this giant. The purpose of such features remains a topic of speculation among scientists. Next at number 11 is the Quetzalcoatlus, one of the largest flying animals of all time. This pterosaur had a wingspan up to 36 feet and may have hunted small dinosaurs and other prey on land. Its discovery in the 1970s in North America's late Cretaceous rocks was nothing short of a paleontological sensation. It challenged our understanding of flight and redefined the limits of what we thought possible for airborne creatures. But what makes the Quetzalcoatlus truly bizarre isn't just its size. It's the combination of its incredible wingspan with a long, stiff neck and a sharp, pointed beak that sets it apart. This pterosaur didn't just soar the skies, it dominated them. 
With a height of at least 5.5 meters when grounded, it towered over other animals of its time. Estimates of its weight have varied widely, from a light 70 kilograms to a hefty 250 kilograms. This range reflects the challenges scientists face in understanding such a unique creature. Its skeletal structure was robust, designed to support the massive wings and provide enough power for flight. And finally, at number 12 is the Carnotaurus, a theropod with a short snout, tiny arms, and distinctive horn-like structures above its eyes, giving it a unique, bull-like appearance. The Carnotaurus, a dinosaur whose name literally means meat-eating bull, had distinctive features and peculiar characteristics which made it a standout in the dinosaur kingdom. And here's why. Firstly, let's talk about those horns. Unlike any other known carnivorous dinosaur, the Carnotaurus boasted thick, bull-like horns above its eyes. Then there are the arms, or should we say, the lack thereof. The Carnotaurus had arms so short, they make the T-Rexes look positively long. With forearms only a quarter the length of its upper arms, it's a wonder this dinosaur could use them at all. But what it lacked in arm length, it made up for with powerful, long legs, suggesting it could have been one of the fastest theropods of its time. And speaking of its skin, fossil impressions reveal a scaly reptilian texture, which is somewhat surprising given that many theropods from this era sported feathers. The end of the Cretaceous period marked one of the most significant extinction events in Earth's history, wiping out approximately 75% of all species, including all non-avian dinosaurs, but isn't it just thrilling to think about the mysteries of the past that these 12 creatures represent? It's like a puzzle that nature has left for us to solve, piece by fascinating piece, and each discovery is a step closer to understanding the grand tapestry of life on Earth. That's it for today on Curious Gate. Please remember to subscribe and click on the bell for notifications so you don't miss when we upload new content. Thank you for watching. Until next time, stay curious.